Hi gamers, it's me. In this video, I'm going to be completing the Secrets Obscured Achievement Collection. This achievement not only rewards a mastery point, but also the Wizard's Tower Teleportation Scroll. For the purpose of this video, I am completing it a second time on an alt account. An alt account which has, I think, 12% map completion or something ridiculously low. So, I won't be doing the most efficient path, but I will show you the general location and a close-ish by waypoint, which will hopefully provide a little bit more value to newer players who don't have multiple characters with 100% map completion, because fuck that. Feel free to skip around with the timestamps in the description below. I will also put the... I will also put the... I will also put the... Oh my god. <laughs> I will... <laughs> I will also put the waypoint chat codes in the description for each of them as well. Um, I hope this helps. <laughs> Thank you for watching. First and foremost, in order to be able to see and complete the achievement, you have to have completed the Secrets of the Obscure story up to and including the final chapter, Chapter 10, Treachery. Once completed, go to the Wizard's Tower and speak to Isgaran to start the achievement. The first item is in Gessex Hills. Relative to Lion's Arch, it's just to the east and where Garenhof is within the actual game and is in the lake, is in this little bit of, and is in the body of water in Garenhof. The next item, planning for Tyria's future, is at the top of the Vizier's Tower mini jumping puzzle. Relative to Lion's Arch, this is in the Straits of Devastation, which is pretty much directly south of Lion's Arch. This can be cheesed if you already have the Sky Scale fully unlocked and you fly sort of high enough and then you can sort of glide towards the top slash end of the jumping puzzle. The third item that we have to collect, the Tainted Bloodstone Sensor, is in the same map on Straits of Devastation, but it's towards the northeast. I'm going to be going from Bramble Pass Waypoint, which might be more easily accessed from Sparkfly Fen. There is a sort of between map portal. Uh, that pretty much takes you to exactly where you need to go um, and gets you the Bramble Pass waypoint. From this particular waypoint, you just follow the wall around and there will be some foliage that's covering up a hole in the wall and you just follow it round in the little sort of cavern type thingy. S struggle to jump up and, and there it is. Good job, me. The fourth item, Curry Bun with Bloodstone, is obtained from speaking to an NPC in Divinity's Reach. Relative to Lion's Arch, it's sort of northwestish, and I'm going to take the northernmost waypoint, Grenth Waypoint. From this waypoint, I'm just going to yeet myself over this wall here, kill my raptor in the process, and simply just talk to the NPC to obtain the item. The fifth item that we have to obtain, the Ancient Astral Ward Manual, is obtained from Mount Maelstrom. 
relative to Lion's Arch, it's sort of south by southeast-ish, I think. If you have either of the eastern waypoints, it's pretty much just straight up or down depending on which one you go from. And once you reach the NPC, it's the third and final dialogue option to obtain the item from them. Or you can struggle, click through all of them, and then kill the spider thing. The sixth item, Cryptus Corpse, is obtained from completing any rift event. I believe only on the Tyria maps. I'm not 100% certain if this drops while doing a rift in the Soto maps. Please let me know if uh, you have tested this or not. But if you go into your achievement panel, Secrets of the Obscure, Weekly Rift Hunting, there should be three non-Soto maps which will be able to summon rifts on. At the time of making this video, one of the maps is Sparkfly Fen, and here I'm doing the little rifty. A cute little tidbit, by the way. Um, while you're tracking rifts, if you can see the red event indicator on the map, that means that it's currently in progress. It's either in the pre-event here to kill a certain amount of Cryptus, or summoning the higher Cryptus boss, or even if it's currently being sealed and the boss has already been defeated. If you are tracking a rift and all you're seeing is like little sparkies telling you which direction to go in, but no red event indicator, that means that no one has yet interacted with the rift to begin the pre-event, um, which, which might hopefully give you a bit less disappointment when you inevitably make it to a rift location right as it ends and you're not able to get any participation. That is real pain. The final item, Beacon Stone, is in Ascalon, and more specifically, Plains of Ashford. The Ascalon City Waypoint is the closest, but there are a couple of other close by ones, and it's just over here on the top of a tower. Once we have all of the items that we need to obtain for Isgarin, all we need to do is head back to the wizard's tower and with the power of editing i'm going to be swapping to a character that actually has wizard's tower unlocked speak to Asgarin again to turn in the achievement and there you go as i said at the beginning of the video the teleportation stone can be moved onto any character via your bank or if you have a free shared inventory slot, it can be placed in one of those and double clicked from any character to quickly teleport you to the wizard's tower should you need to. I hope this helped at least somebody. I am more of a, a watch and follow visual learner, so that's why I enjoy making these because they weren't there for me, if that makes sense. But yeah, I hope this helped. Thank you for watching.